7.5 Reflections and Line Symmetry. So in the next activity, what I want you to do is I want you to consider the following shapes and which shapes have the same number of lines of symmetry and organize the shapes according to the number of lines of symmetry. Which shapes do not have lines of symmetry? But before you have this task, do you think that maybe it would be helpful to define what a line of symmetry is? Yes, I do think so. Let's do it. So a line of symmetry is a straight line placed so that thal, that's a new word, that all, <laughs> that's why I did thal, uh, a straight line placed so that all points perpendicular So at a 90 degree angle to the line are equidistant. That's just a fancy math, uh, fancy math language for uh, equal distanced. So I want you to do that for these shapes. Now, just as an example, I'll give you a little bit of a freebie. This right here is not a line of symmetry because even though this point is equidistanced to the uh, line to this point, this point right here is a lot shorter distance to the line of symmetry than this point right here. Some other people think that maybe this is a line of symmetry. It could produce a line of symmetry if the shape was reflected over here and looked kind of like that. Um, but this in and of itself is not a line of symmetry. Truly the only line of symmetry that is going to be present in this shape is right there. So I want you to organize the shapes um, according to the number of lines of symmetry. So pause and uh, we'll uh, see you once you're finished that task. So here is uh, kind of the rough work that I did here, and I made sure that I counted up all the, the uh, lines of symmetry. So with one line of symmetry, we have shape A, and we have shape uh, D, and we have shape G. With two lines of symmetry, we have B, and that is it. Oh, sorry, I forgot one here. Uh, I also, don't forget about that one. With three lines of sy symmetry, we don't have any. With four lines of symmetry, we have F and H. Um, and then we can skip da -da 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 to eight lines of symmetry. And that is L, because we have the straight line to straight line symmetry, but we are line symmetry, but we also have the point to point uh, line symmetry on that. That is because there's an even number of, of sides. That's only going to work when there are even number of sides. We see this pentagon right here um, uh, because it, its line of symmetry goes from a straight edge to a point. Um, so we won't have that kind of duplication. So are there any shapes that do not have a line of symmetry? Well, yeah, I identified C, J, and K. And it would be worth just going into them and trying some things out. Now, without the shading, this one would absolutely have two lines of symmetry, but because we have the shading on either um, this right here, probably for you it looks like gray, but for me it looks like blue, um, there's no line of symmetry because if I were to, uh, if I were to um, put a mirror here, it would not be the exact same image on the other, on the other side. So even though we're talking about equidistanced, uh, we can also talk about uh, shading uh, and color choice as well. This has rotational symmetry. Um, or it has um, it has a repeated pattern symmetry, but it does not have, and it has rotational symmetry in that this and this, uh, it, this shape could be rotated onto onto itself, and it would have uh, it would have the exact same shape to get, begin with, um, but it does not have line symmetry. Neither does this one. Even though J and D kind of look the same, it's a little bit, it's a little bit off. It's like we picked up D uh, here 
and we kind of like pulled it off to the side a little bit. So even if I went like in, right in between here, this point and this point are not equidistant to the line. Um, or if we wanted to say, okay, we're going to center it around this longer line, we're going to experience the same thing uh, on top. Now this one right here, it's tricky, right? Because you're like, oh, well, this is a line of symmetry. But when we look at the lines that are perpendicular, yes. This point and this point are equidistant, but um, uh, equidistant to the line. But when we truly draw uh, lines that are perpendicular to um, the uh, lines that are perpendicular to the the supposed line of symmetry, the, the shape uh, the shape is not equidistant on either side. Um, not to mention the shading. The shading adds a whole different spicy meatball to it.